Marvel Rivals just came out and the game is insane to play but the PC requirements are also a little high. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix any lags you might be facing with Marvel Rivals. So uh, as you can see, I've got the game running on my system without uh, much in the name of optimizations or anything other than that of sorts and it's still running mostly fine with a screen recording on. Now the first thing that you need to do when uh, you're talking about sort of optimizing the game and reducing lag is to adjust the in-game settings. So right now I was about at the 60 FPS mark and uh, to achieve that, okay I'll deal with the penalty later. What we have to do is click on the settings icon in the top right, come to settings and now we are going to display settings. Now uh, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, make sure that you're running Nvidia DLSS like this is by far the best frame rate boost that you will get in this game. You can set this to performance and uh, make sure that you get the most FPS out of your game possible. Other than that, you can have your frame generation mode set to NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. Make sure you do that. That will give you a better FPS. Uh, make sure that you don't limit your FPS, but we would want to show it. Uh, network stats is uh, not related to lag, but it can give you latency and packet loss uh, information. If you are limiting FPS, just make sure that it matches the refresh rate of your monitor. For my monitor, that's going to be 144 Hz. For you, it can be anything, uh, whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is. Now, uh, this optimized setting option is uh, actually a pretty great thing because uh, you click on it and it automatically optimizes the game for your particular system. So as you can see, it is optimized for my system. Uh, it uh, is running fine with high settings. And that is what we want. So make sure you have NVIDIA DLSS uh, as anti-aliasing and super resolution and that you enable frame generation in DLSS. Uh, I can just go ahead and apply these changes and as you can see I'm running at a stable 144 Hz at least in the menu. Other than that there is not really much in the way of in-game settings. You can go ahead and turn all of these to low if you want to just maximize the performance of your PC. And if that doesn't work either, uh, you can set this to full screen uh, and then uh, change the resolution. I'm not running it in full screen because as you can read in this note on the right that running in the game in full screen may cause instability on devices with two or more monitors and I have. Two monitors so i'm going to have to play in border borderless windows and uh, yeah uh, it's locked to 60 fps in the menu but besides uh, from that it should give you better performance in game once you've uh, adjusted the in-game settings another thing that you can do is to add a cpu priority now to do this press windows key plus x to open the quick access menu and head over to the taskbar in the taskbar, uh, you need to do this when the game is running. Just FYI, since I've closed the game, uh, I'm going to replicate this with another uh, sort of process. So uh, let's say this bootstrap package game with some Marvel Rivals process, but it's not the actual game. So let's take this as an example. I'm going to right click it. And then we are going to click on go to details. This will launch the sort of the details tab of the task manager and what we are going to do is right click it here go to set priority and then we're going to set this to high or real time what it does is that it tells your cpu essentially to give all of its available resources at and prioritize the game above everything else this can cause some system instability on some computers so if it starts crashing your system please turn this setting off but if it doesn't, it can give you an, another 4 to 5 FPS, which might make your experience more stable. Next thing we're going to do is to check if the game is running on GPU. This is a very important task. Uh, the game will not launch if it's not running on the GPU in the first place. But just in case it eventually runs, uh, you would still want to check this. Now to do this, we press the Windows key and search for 
graphics settings I'm going to click on this and now uh, this settings option will appear what we have to do is look for the game in this list if you don't see it that's perfectly fine what we are going to do is uh, select desktop app here and then click on browse now uh, this is already opening up in my marvel rivals uh, sort of path but depending on where you've installed the game and how you've installed it this path is going to be different point is you need to find the path of wherever the game is installed uh, then this is your uh, sort of launcher.executable and then in the marvel game folder you'll find your game executable file which launches the game uh, now just select this and click on add and now as you can see it's set to let windows decide but if i click on options i have the option of forcing the game to run on my high performance cpu which is what we want to use so make sure that the game is using the dedicated gpu and uh, it should result in a healthy boost in performance if it wasn't already the next thing we're going to do is to check for gpu driver updates now with each new game that comes out uh, whether it's amd nvidia i don't know about intel but uh, they do release uh, game drivers that optimize your hardware for the new game that's coming out. So I have an NVIDIA GPU and if I open up the NVIDIA app, head over to the driver section. Uh, as you can see, I have the latest game ready driver installed. And if I scroll down, you will see that this driver is uh, ready for Marvel Rivals. So if you haven't updated your driver, go ahead and do it. Uh, and uh, video will tell you if you're not using the latest version but if you still want to check you can go ahead and click on this button it will show you if the latest driver is available one small thing to keep in mind though is that you should be using the game ready driver and not the studio driver game ready driver is the one that will give you the best possible performance and that should get things up and running and that's it that's how easily you can fix any fps issues that you might be facing with marvel rivals do keep in mind that this game is a very system resource intensive so if you don't have a very good pc you are going to get lag and that's just no way around it your pc needs to be capable enough to run the game but uh, yeah these are some basic settings that you can change and hopefully get better performance if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.